Okay, this is part two of completing the square and solving a quadratic equation by completing the square. Um, on the last two, uh, part of this uh, completing the square series, I showed you how to complete the square on a quadratic equation, which was 4x squared minus 2x minus 5 equals 0. And so the quadratic coefficient 4 was not equal to 1. So for this video, I'm just going to start with an equation that already has a coefficient of 1. x squared minus 2x minus 7 equals 0. And I'm just going to run through the steps uh, because I've already shown you how to do it on the previous tutorial. And uh, this one will have one less step, as you'll see. And then at the end, I'll recap and write down the steps for you to reference. So I'll just get right into it. So here I have x squared minus 2x minus 7 equals 0. So I am going to add the constant term to both sides, which basically moves the constant term over to the other side. So then I have x squared minus 2x, I leave a space, equals 7. Then what I want to do is find what b, our linear term, is equal to. Now, Notice I didn't divide by anything, which is what I would have done in the previous video. But since this is already 1, it's unnecessary. I can just continue to finding what half of b squared is. So again, I'm going to take half of b squared. So that's b negative 2. b equals negative 2. I'm going to find what half of that is and square it. That is going to be negative 2 divided by 2 squared, which equals negative 1 squared, which equals 1. So this number here, and why don't I box it with blue so it stands out. That number goes right there, and it's going to go right here as well. I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite x squared minus 2x. So I add the 1 to both sides. Plus 1 equals 7 plus 1. Now, obviously, 7 plus 1 is 8, so I'll get that out of the way. Here, I want to factor. And I get, to do that, I get x minus 1 squared. It's very simple. We do this process because whoever invented this did it so that we would get this squared term. So every time, basically, it's the half of this term. I'm sorry, the square root of this term or half of this term. So half of negative 2 is negative 1, or 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. So it's very nice. It's basically a pattern. Once you practice enough of these, you'll start seeing that it's really just a pattern. and You don't even have to think twice before uh, when you're actually factoring it. And so here we have the next step is I'm just going to move. Well, actually, I'm just going to rewrite it. Oops that is not right. It's x minus 1 squared. So to solve this for x, because that's what we're trying to do, we take the square root of both sides. That basically gets rid of this guy here, the squared. And then I'm going to come over here. x minus 1 equals the square root of 8. Then if I add 1 to both sides, I get... Oh, and don't forget, I almost did. It's plus or minus the square root. Now we take the square root of something, then we're left with the plus or minus of that. So we have, and then uh, the next step was I added 1 to both sides, so I get x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 8. And that is the solution. So we basically have x is equal to 1 plus root 8, or 1 minus root 8. So those are our two, if you want to look at it, those are the two roots of our equation. That's the two places where this quadratic uh, crosses the x-axis. Now I'm going to go down to another layer here, and I'll go ahead and list out the steps for you. So step one, when we're looking at a quadratic. Now remember, I'll just write one for reference. I'll write the one I used in the original video. 4x squared minus 2x minus 5 equals 0. Recall 
for a quadratic, this term here is a, this coefficient. This coefficient is b. This coefficient is c. Now, step one is to move c to the other side of the equation or isolate constant term. So that's like the step where we move this guy over here. Step two, if a does not equal one, okay, if it does, go to step three. If it doesn't, divide both sides by a. Now, step three, realize once we've divided both sides by a, this b value is no longer going to be negative two. It's actually going to be b divided by a, if we've divided by a. If not, then it'll still be the same. But that's why I'm going to call this lowercase b. So what we want to do is find, and if you're not sure what lowercase b is right now, just go back into the video uh, rewind it a little bit and then you'll see. Find one half of b squared and add to both sides. That's supposed to say sides. Step four factor the quadratic, basically the new quadratic that we've created as a squared factor. Step five, solve algebraically for x. Now this is just a little checklist for you to run through. I would not suggest learning how to do this just by reading this. I would go back and watch and follow along when I actually follow do the steps. Um, I would start with the first video in this series, which is part one of two. And this is part two of two. So if this is new to you, go back and watch part one, and then uh, this will definitely make sense, and it'll just serve as a nice little checklist for you to run through. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, please rate with a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful, comment, uh, subscribe, and uh, I will see you, or well, you'll see me, you'll hear me, on the next tutorial. Thanks.